Hello guys, this episode will be, first it will be crawling and rolling, and since I'm on a time crunch, which means I don't have that much time, and since I don't have that much time, uh, I already made the scripts, I'll just show you, I'll, I'll go in detail about the scripts though, don't worry. First of all, about the animations, you're gonna make a crawl, a duck, and a roll, okay, the roll is for if you're like, uh, if you're doing a mock run, why are you, uh, why you press the duck button. The duck button will be the same as the dive button and the ground pound button except on land because you're not going to use you're not going to crawl in the air so making the animations is very very important this is why if you don't make the animations correctly you won't be able to fit in small gaps like this so this is why for example in my row animation it's touching the ground make sure your animations are because if you make animations really high up you can't fit in small spaces Okay, the first thing I did was I made the animations real duck and crawl. Oh yeah, and these don't really take that much time to make. I won't show if on the screen for that long. Okay, I also made this variable ducking equals false and local v equals false. So when the input begins, uh, it sets v to true, and it does that whenever you press v. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that, and yeah, there's nothing else here. Oh, and inside of input ended, we have this, which detects when you stop pressing V and there's nothing else here. And I made a new run service heartbeat connect. It's above the one, it's, you, you, we already have one in the script, but I made another one. It's, uh, basically, it's basically all this. And I, I'll go into detail about what this is. Okay, so basically, first of all, it detects this detects when you when you stop crawling or rolling. So if you're not pressing V and you're currently rolling or something, uh, then you will stop rolling and yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll also save. Also in my script, uh, if you roll, if you roll for a short time, you can maintain your mock speed. But if you roll for a long time, you slowly run, you slowly slow down. For example, if you have Mach 2 and you roll for a long time, you'll be at Mach 1. But if you have Mach 2 and you roll for a short time, you'll still be at Mach 2 when you stop rolling. And this is when you start rolling. First of all, it detects if you're pressing V. Then it detects if you're not in the air. It detects if you're not free falling and if you're not currently ducking. So first of all, it stops your mock run. It makes you not be able to do any other inputs if not running uh, all this I want to show you where you can customize this is how fast the crawling speed is and this is how fast like you slow down stuff like that this is how fast you want the like the run which is the variable the controls when you start your mocks and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. you could you can change all those uh, and also set of here I'm I put and not ducking inside of here I put if not docking and set in yeah I think that's basically it now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you my the gameplay so you guys don't think I'm lying to you I uh, was and yeah so you see here I'm gonna have to wait pizza time first Okay, so you see, I cannot fit. I, I, I'm unable to fit here. Unable. But if I crawl, I can fit there. And if I roll, I can also fit there. And you can also see I maintain my Mach 2 speed. But if I roll for a long time, like right now, you see I start to slow down and I'm not on Mach 2 anymore. Kind of like the real Pizza Tower. Yeah, uh-oh. So yeah, you should probably subscribe. Uh, so I suggest you subscribe. That'd be really good. Uh, you can also join the Discord. That'd also be really good.